truth. Hello everybody, Darren Schumacher and uh, for today uh, we're going to talk about the largest star ever discovered, uh, Montilla. I know there are most stars that are discovered in the future that will be discovered. Um, right now we're going to give you a thorough introduction about the Sun, U.S. Q.T., V.Y. Canis Majoris. If you are looking forward to it, um, make sure to like and subscribe. So first of all, we'll give you a thorough introduction of the sun that everyone knows and everyone loves. So let's go to our sun here and click on the sun and see that the sun's mass is just one sun and the radius is 702,000 and 98 kilometers. The density is 1.37. Surface temperature 5,775 Kelvin. Luminosity 1.00 for the sun. Luminosity of the sun. Age is last lot 4.66. And the speed is rotating very fast per millisecond. You can do that for yourself. I can't do that right now. It's in four point, uh, three point nine, three point eight. Okay, that's it. Let's not read this one now. Okay, so we have got the sun now. So let's go into our topic: UI skating. So UI skating. You wonder what is its radius? It is. 1.1883 billion kilometers wide and see you are asking can you see USVT that is it visible from Earth? USVT is located in our galaxy Milky Way about 5.219 light years and you are asking which constellation it's in Scutum. Scutum is 202 light years approximately far. So away from the Earth. So you ask if it changes its brightness, but it can be viewed from the as it is a pulsing star. It has an absolute magnitude of minus six point uh, two comma you watch QT is thus three hundred and forty times more luminous than our sun. So next is its surface gravity. See, it's minus 0 0.5. And um, that's it of USQT. So the title was USQT. And we're going to compare it to the sun. Before that, we're going to talk about New White Canis Majoris. New White Canis Majoris is 987.89 million kilometers wide. And it's the distance to its Earth is 4,892 light years. So that's the simple explanation of who you are, Canis Joyce. So let's get into the topic. You are skip. So we'll compare it to our sun. Now you know, open a new simulation, empty simulation, and we add our tool, the object. Our uh, sun, as you see, and this we have our sun right there. From that, it looks huge. It is really huge. And now let's add our friend you watch YouTube there. You see, you watch it. And do you see how big that is compared? Let's just compare it right now. And look at how huge that is. That like I'm the vision of the sun. I'm sitting on the sun and then looking towards you watch YouTube. What can I bright it? I can't even look in that direction. I can look at it. So yeah. The sun 
is huge. That is still and true. So I am really the select to object called UISPT. And we are going to select the object that is UISPT and we're gonna go to it. So and as you see UISPT is I mean it is lower when you prepare it, 3365 Kelvin because it's a huge star. And you know a fact about huge stars that they don't have um they do they don't have that much surface temperature because of the compression of hydrogen. So because they have to put in the inner core that is crushing the planet with atoms that make it huge and it's not dust that makes it not but in the sun. And our sun is around four billion years old. Um, and the mass of US it is 8.5 little suns together, much together of suns. Okay. And now let's go into our next simulation. Next simulation is finding the habitable zone for your city. It's a huge challenge to find a habitable zone for your city. So you're gonna get multiple zones of Earth, and you're just gonna play the guessing game to see how many Earths makes it that which one has a suitable temperature. So you're gonna put one there, then one more there, and uh, now you can check for the habitable zone by looking at the view and the habitable. And as you see, this is how much space that is covered. And you see one earth is right there and it's blasting with 28 Celsius. That's actually good, 28 Celsius. But it's slowly increasing. It's slowly but surely increasing. This one is at 17 Celsius, kind of habitable. 15 Celsius, also habitable. 14 Celsius. 13 Celsius. And yeah, that's how many Earths I have. Yeah. So everything has a decent temperature, but when you compare it to the sun right now, so we're gonna add another one for the sun. Okay, so before that we're gonna put this and put the UWASH into the solar system and see how many planets does it take. It could cause a supernova or even a hypernova. So we're gonna add our object UISQT and yeah, look at how big that is. So once we add it there, so let's do it. Hope it doesn't make super normal. Because everything will go. And as you see Jupiter, I mean it hasn't merged in the sun yet. It will take away the planet by the way create a supernova yet. Because that will go huge for the Create a supernova. And you see how important they are, supernova. Not what I expected. It's a supernova because of collision. And yeah, it was not expected for causing that much and Jupiter is gone. It's really 56 times in Celsius. Every planet is gone. I couldn't even prepare it. Because this caused a huge hypernova or supernova. You see, and it's increasing at every moment that I can't even go across it. That crazy creators lack. So let's just make a new one and do it quick. Let's do it very quick. So we're gonna add in our two. We're gonna go to UASQT and quickly add it before it merges with the sun. So we're gonna add it right there, maybe right there. Hope it doesn't make a supernova. Quick, 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 guys, quick. Okay, Jupiter. Jupiter. Oh, okay, good. Okay, Jupiter is around uh, 9,000 Celsius. I just don't want it to merge with the sun yet. And the sun is around 5,000 Kelvin. At least now you can see how hot the Earth will be. The Earth will be around, uh, yeah, 1,000 Celsius. Pluto will be around 600 Celsius. And the 700 Celsius for Neptune. So, oh, that's uh, okay. 
So you ask your deed, isn't that bright yet to make that much heat? So let's say we compare it to uh, our planet Jupiter here, that makes it five, 5,000 Celsius. That's 14,000 Celsius. Uh, 1,000 Celsius decreased right there. And yeah, it is causing an explosion as you see right there. So now we're gonna compare it to we want kind of majority. I'm gonna add a new solar system and compare it to we want kind of majority. This we got to learn. So we want kind of majority to tell which we need to work for the Okay, so we have our sun buddy here at 5,500 and uh, how cool is this? Yeah, that is all 3,000 but that didn't make such a problem. Mm, yeah, that could be problem. 700 Celsius. And imagine how what Saturn is. Saturn, yeah, Saturn's increasing thousand, thousand, thousand. But I think the Jupiter started it every time. Look at Jupiter, it's always at 5,000. <laughs> and some countries 10,000. Because I think Jupiter's mass is so bigger that we can even pay the stuff. And yeah, the solar system is moving. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The gravitational pull of you are scooting towards. Sorry. We are kind of serious towards the sun is strong. See, the gravitational pull is very strong that it's push, pulling it so fast. But as you see, this is very fast 15.6 days. And this is what happens. And look what happened to her. Let's just see if this can pull the super So we're going to increase the days in second by slow. And yeah, that will cause not just supernova, will cause a huge problem. Why that cause problem? Okay, so we have done. We want Canis Majoris, and now let's open an empty simulation and give you the comparison of the sun. We want Canis Majoris, and you are speaking. So we will put the sun right there. Put we want Canis Majoris. We want Canis Majoris there, and you want Scooty there. We don't want anything to merge together. So, as you see, that is huge compared. Compared to that, is huge. And yeah, um, did the sun, the sun move? I don't think so. Let me just increase that please and see which size and move for us. That's not in front. Yeah, not in front. Okay, so we didn't move any slides, so it's um yeah, look at that. That's just beautiful. So yeah guys. Hope you guys liked this video and it's just a small comparison but something that is very small in our universe. This, compared to the universe, is just a tiny atom that you can't even see. Even with a 1 billion miles radius, or kilometers, or kilometers radius, you can't even see it in your universe scale because the universe is increasing by 9.62 miles per second. That is all. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. And bye.